This is a 2022 BMW M4 competition. It's got the ZF 8-speed automatic and all-wheel drive. And all that makes it the quickest M4 ever. However, there's something even more special about this particular car. This is the KISS edition for the BMW M4 competition. They only made 150 of these, so not only is it the quickest M4 to ever grace the pavement, but it's also the rarest and most exclusive. So a huge thank you to International BMW in West Dallas, Wisconsin for letting me have a go in this thing. If you're not familiar, Kith is an American streetwear brand created back in 2011 by now iconic designer Ronnie Feig. Feig's work, vision, and creativity not only propelled Kith to the forefront of fashion, but also the epicenter of modern culture. And to give you some context as to how big a deal this thing is, this is the first time that BMW has engaged in a collaboration with a fashion designer, at least to this capacity. And it's also the first time that you've gotten a collaboration-specific roundel on the front, something that's not just the typical blue and white. It's also worth mentioning that BMW could have gone with anyone for this collab project. Supreme, Gucci, or even LVMH. But no, it says Kith on the roof, and it still sold out 150 units in 11 minutes. And it probably doesn't hurt that this is the best looking M4 that you can currently buy. And at first glance, you would definitely notice the frozen black paint, but you might miss the small Kith details and nuances around the body. We talked about the roundel on the hood being the first time BMW has ever deviated from their iconic design. Around the side you've got gloss black competition wheels with red calipers peeking out. Your roof is made of carbon fiber, and you can spec a Kith and M branded decal if you really want. And around back you have the same M and Kith logo combination taking place of the traditional M4 badge on the rear trunk lid. But they say beauty is only skin deep, so while the exterior looks great, let's talk about the interior where you spend most of your time. In the cabin, you also get hand-sewn custom seats with Kith-branded embossed leatherwork for your headrests. Just below that, replace that M4 logo with a light-up Kith and M Co logo, and the seats themselves are carbon M buckets in an exclusive red and blue colorway. If you like the headrest checkerboard pattern, you'll love the mirrored detail in the center armrest. And rounding out the interior accoutrement is the Kith and M logo below your gear selector, always reminding you you're in something special. But now, let's go even deeper and talk about the things that you can't see, but you can hear and you can feel. fast and as violent as it was when we tested it back in October around Road America. And that's because mechanically it's a normal BMW M4 competition, that's not a bad thing because under the hood you still have BMW's S58 3 liter twin turbo straight six. In competition trim it adds an extra six pounds of boost to get your horsepower and torque numbers up to 503 and 479 respectively. And then all of that power is wrangled through the best tuned ZF 8 speed transmission that I've ever experienced. The big difference here is with this kit, it's got something that we were missing in October with the normal M4 competition. This has all wheel drive. And this all-wheel drive system is good enough at putting down all that power from the S58 engine that it drops the 0 to 60 time to 3.4 seconds. And that's according to BMW, so you can assume it's pretty conservative. Some people in independent testing have gotten 3.07 seconds, and that's what somebody else in the passenger seat. And that's because, unlike the old DCT you got in the last M4, this ZF transmission will get all of your power to all of your wheels each time you ask it to. In addition to four-wheel traction for acceleration, you've also got a special limited-slip differential from BMW's M-Division out back, helping the car feel fun 
but also controlled enough that you won't wrap it around a tree. You've got electronically controlled dampers that keep the balanced chassis composed through any corner at nearly any speed. And when it comes to brakes, you've got big ones, and it reminds you of it every time you step on the stop pedal. Now, of course, what all of this means is that while Kith and BMW's design teams were getting creative in the studio, BMW's engineering department, they're all business. <laughs> now, in truth, if it were me and my money, I prefer something with a little shorter wheelbase, with a little less heft. This thing is pretty long, and with that you get a lot of ride refinement, but that shorter, more darty 2 series, that M2 competition, that's pretty good. However, there's nothing to be said. There's no comparison to the rarity and the exclusivity that you get with this kit. So there it is. And when you really boil it down, what you're getting is the quickest and rarest M4 ever made. Thanks for watching.